Dear friends of music, this is Lana with Lana's Music Studio, and today we are going to talk about chords. What are chords? Chords are a wonderful feature of music that belongs to all kinds of styles, and it's Baroque, Classical, Folk, Romantic, um, anything you think about jazz, rock, Impressionism, um, you will find chords everywhere. And let's talk about how they formed and we're going to talk about the chords that are called triads triads are uh, basically a combination of three sounds that form the chord and let's talk, start talking about some sounds that uh, actually the keys located close to each other like this or this They're a highly uncomfortable sound it's very dissonant it's just like two boys who are sitting in very close to each other, then pushing each other, like, go away, this is my place. <laughs> and finally, when one of those boys will move away, they become friends. And this interval is called the third, because one, two, three. Now, you notice that when I'm playing the third, I will skip one key. And they all will be sounding really nice together. Any, any uh, taken two keys that we have a skip in between. Now, um, I don't want to get you uh, too much into the confusion of using the professional terminology, but I will give you two names for this. The professional terminology first, and then I will explain it in kind of simpler way, so that will be easier to understand and you will not confuse the major third with major chord. So here we go. I call it a skip, because we skip the key. The scientific name for this will be a third. Now, if you take the one key, then another, and then another, all together will make a chord. You see, I'm using three keys, like this, on skips. Now, here are my helpers, my little indicators. And look now, those skips are not the same. If you look at this skip, it has three keys between the main tones. One, two, three. And so this skip is a big skip. Now this skip has only two keys between the main tones. So this is a small skip. Now big skip plus small will give you a major chord. Now, scientific name, uh, the music theory name for this is a major third. Let's talk about those words major and minor. Major actually means big, right? That's why I call it a big skip. Well, scientific name is major third. Now, this is a minor skip. Because it's a small skip, only two, right? Minor means small. So, big plus small gives you a major chord. Here we go. Now, if I will move the middle key down, it will make a minor chord. And minor chord will have, will have a um, small skip, only two, plus big skip, one, two, three. So small plus big gives you a minor chord. How do they sound? Well, first of all, all the chords will be uh, counting from the root. They, ro uh, they grow from the root, just like a tree. The tree goes up, grows up from the root, same way the chord grows up from the root. Have you ever seen a tree that grows down from the root? I haven't. Same thing chords. You can play this chord down, but root still will be on the bottom. Now, how they sound? Major chord sounds kind of bright and shiny. Minor chord will sound dark, just like this. And I heard an opinion that major chord sound happy and minor chord sounds sad. Is that true? Not, not really. It's just bright and dark. Um, I have 
I know millions of songs that sound uh, really fast and fun, still being in minor key. I'm Russian, so I'll sing you a Russian song and then tell me how sad is the song that is built on the minor keys. <laughs> Весу Костя приводил, и все бендюжники вставали, когда в пивную он ходил. Is it very sad song? No, not at all. And it's still in minor key. So I would consider uh, minor keys, minor chords, be darker, and major chords will be brighter. Sunshine cloudy weather that's it now um let's try to build the chords from all the white keys and name them so c is a root c major c c minor now the question is is the black key really shows you major or minor it would be so simple right if you have a black key in the middle so it's minor and like it's not no, it's not, unfortunately. <laughs> you still need to learn how to count three and two. Or play by ear. Let's say I will play something from D. Let's see if it will be D minor or D major. Sounds dark to me. Is that right? Sounds like minor. And now let's double check our notes. You see, we have two skips here. So it's a small and this is big. Three keys. So small plus big gives you a minor chord. Let's go uh, to make a major chord out of it. We're going up. Now we have one, two, three, big skip, one, two, small skip. D major. So how come C minor was with a black key and it sounds minor, and D major sound with a black key in the middle sounds like major? Well, because in this case, we actually lowered the key, we went flat, we lowered down. In this case, we went up, we raised it up, and we used sharp. So here we used flat, and here we used sharp, going up. Same thing. Let's practice. If we'll play E chord, it will be what? E major or E minor? E minor. And this will be E major. Sounds like bright chord. It's supposed to be a major, right? So it is F major because we have three black keys here. I mean, the three keys between the main tones and only two between the two others. So big plus small is major, minor. And we can do the same thing, G major, G minor. A minor, A major, and you know you can stop this move at any time and uh, just uh, try to build it yourself and then double check what I'm showing to you. But then we will come to a really interesting chord starting on B. It doesn't really sound like major or minor. What kind of chord is this? Look, if we look at the structure, uh, we have only small skips. We have one, two, and another one, two. So small plus small. What can, can it be? Oh, this is the diminished chord. Diminished chord was for many centuries a uh, prohibited chord um, until uh, the composer Christoph Willibald Gluck wrote the opera Orpheus going to underground world which is supposed to be kind of like a um, country of dead people in greek mytholo mythology so he come there to escape his uh, beloved wife um, and bring her back to life uh, because gods gave him the power to go there and take her back to earth and when he goes down to this under ground world the hell 
he sees all kind of scary things. And that's where the first time they use the diminished chord. It does sound kind of really scary like this. Very tense, very dramatic. And it's very favorite chord of Beethoven, who created a lot of dramatic music. Diminished chord is widely used everywhere, but not as much as major and minors. But still, it's very common chord in music, uh, and this is diminished chord. Now, how can we make a normal chord from the, I mean normal, <laughs> major or minor chord mm, from B? We need to make one uh, with that distance a little bit wider, because we don't have a black key here or here. So now this distance is smaller than normal then what we can do, we can raise it to create a bigger uh, distance. And now we can count everything. One, two, one, two, three. Now it is a small plus big, it's your B minor chord. How to make B major? Again, you change the middle. Here's your B major. Same way you can build the chords from the black keys. So I would suggest you to practice first from white keys and name them C major, C minor, D minor, D major, E minor, E major, F major, F minor, G major, G minor. diminished, B minor, B major. And after you feel absolutely confident what you're doing on white keys, you can start doing it on black keys. C sharp, skip two, E, one, two, three, G sharp, C sharp minor, and so on. Those chords can be also uh, written in um, letters, so you can read those chords when you're playing from so-called fake books. Now, how can we use all this knowledge about chords? Why do we really need to learn them? Well, because it makes your life much easier, actually. <laughs> if you see something like... Uh, playing really C, e, G, G. you're playing the tones of the C major chord and then we'll have a little echo answering in the beautiful Strauss waltz the beautiful blue Danube you see this is actually another C major chord a lot of music is really uh, consider um, consists a lot of uh, chords either in different form either in arpeggio which is taking one tone after another or the full chord like this uh, so you can see them a lot in different all kind of music now how do we indicate those chords in writing i would highly suggest you whatever you learn um, do your analysis of what kind of chords do you have it will make your life much easier really because you see instead of reading um, C, E, G, G, you will say, oh, that's my C major chord, like da, 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 so much easier. Now, how do we indicate them? If you have a major chord, you will see just the letter C, if it's a C major chord, okay, that's a capital letter. Now, if you uh, need to play a C minor chord, it's a C with little letter M. C minor. Really simple. Now, with a diminished chord, it's a little bit trickier. So C and we have zero. Or C dim, which stands for diminished. Now, if you're talking about an augmented chord, like, does it really exist? Like, if we have a diminished, why we don't have an augmented? Well, middle, in the middle, uh, in a minute. So C plus or 
C augmented. Like this. So let's build the augmented chord. So you already figure out that if we have diminished chord is made out of the small, 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 uh, small, small skips, the augmented will be big plus big. There we go. C, big skip, E, skip three, G sharp. Ooh, it's one of my favorite chords because it sounds just like a fairy took her magic wand and make like, we are wishes granted. Isn't that fantastic, beautiful magic chord? So this augmented chord. Augmented and diminished chords are pretty mm, popular, uh, often can hear them, but not as much useful as uh, major minor chords. But still they uh, make the music more colorful. And that was the augmented chord which is indicated as C plus or C augmented. Now, how do we use all of those indications? I have this wonderful book that I want to show. It's pretty old <laughs> because I use it a lot. It's a Hell Leonard um, edition. It's a pretty old one. Uh, I think they have a newer uh, version of it, but it's really, it's called Easy Play Today and it's Jump a Song Book. Uh, I would recommend it for every beginner who starts learning something and has all kinds of songs for many uh, occasions. I would say uh, right now it's Christmas time here and I open it on silent night. Uh, I know it looks kind of funny that because the melody is kind of written in a really simple way. Let me actually move my keyboard, I'll show you. That's how it is. Now, this is right here, it says C in the square and then nothing else goes until it's time to change your chord to G. And you see this is all major chords because they have no M or augmented or um, diminished. It's just a major chord, really simple chords. So we have C, G and F here, only three chords. And you know them, C, E and G. So when you start playing them, uh, they just tell you when to change the chord. How many times to repeat it's up to you because that's why I really like that format of so-called fake book because nothing is written for you really in bass clef, nothing is written for you in uh, arranging wise. You can do it yourself. Just depend on your skill and your knowledge and stuff like this, but you can do all very beautiful things. You can start with very simple. You just play that C chord together with the right hand's melody and you can repeat it when you feel like it needs to be repeated. And then I notify you when you're changing your chord to G and you can play that G and then change it back to C and change it back to F. Let's see how it will go. There we go. C chord. doesn't mean that you need to do it only this way. No, uh, once you get more advanced in uh, piano playing, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can make uh, beautiful runs and you can make a wide position. Um, you can arrange it, make it really nice and crisp on the top. position of the chord, you can make uh, all kind of modifications to it, but it will be in our next lessons, not right now. Right now we're talking about just the root position of the chord, which is the basically root position like that. Um, you 
you can use different rhythms. So uh, this is the fake book playing uh, from Silent Night and how also the chords can help us in other meaning. Let's say uh, Christmas is coming and nobody has enough time ever to get ready for anything <laughs> because Christmas is so much awaited and then finally when it comes, it comes like an um, avalanche. <laughs> you don't have time really to create uh, anything on those Christmas songs. You probably maybe play a couple of them jingle bells let's say your friends are coming and uh they say like oh you're playing piano can you do something Let, let's do christmas songs and you're like ah, i didn't learn them yet so if you can sing you can sing the melody and play the chords here's the jingle bells um i can show you how it's written right now right here you see this f b flat g minor c7 like what i'm gonna do i will play only chords and the melody that is written right here, right there, I'm going to sing because God gave us voice, right? Not opera voice, of course, uh, I don't have opera voice, but yeah, we can carry them in tune, so why not? Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh, over the hills we go, laughing all the way. What fun it is to ride and sing this love song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. So, where did I get all of that stuff from? Just from Facebook. I was just basically, basically reading the chord progression I was playing chord progression and I was singing the melody so you can do it too just learn your chords and as an addition here is a little chart for you to remember major chords it's big plus small and it sounds bright minor chords is small plus big and it sounds dark diminished chord is small plus small and it sounds dramatic Augmented chord is big plus big and sounds like a miracle. Thank you for listening. This is Lana of Lana's Music Studio. And if you want more movies about how to play piano, please visit my uh, YouTube channel. You can give me a call, 719-231-1616. Or you can visit my website, www.lana-piano.com. See you next time.